So, uh, you don't, I didn't really have a, a financial literacy of like, oh, I need to put, you know, whatever I make at the end of my day, I need to put half of that up. No, I go make whatever I make and go buy some shoes or go out and spend, you know what I'm saying? So, and then it was just like, oh, now I'm out. You know what I'm saying? I got to go back to work tomorrow, go back to the shop and make it again versus putting it up. And then at the end of the month, I got nothing saved. So, like I say, after my fifth year, when I started taking it serious, like, as far as, like, building a business and a brand from it, that's when I started, you know, saving and, you know, uh, being more, you know, strict on, you know, putting money back. So, what does, what does the title, being an entrepreneur, mean to you? And, and what I mean is, is, like, you know, I see a lot of people saying, you know, I'm the CEO, I'm the social media director, I'm the accountant, like... For you, what is that entrepreneur like? What's that umbrella? For me, uh, it's being my own boss, being able to wake up every morning, set my own schedule, move how I want to move. You know, you know, just at being with me is just you know being at peace versus I just know how I am. If I go hit a clock, being told what to do just don't sit right with me. That that's just me. That's just who I am. And like I said, I went through it. You know, I worked for Walmart, worked for Tom Thumb, worked at, uh, you know, O'Reilly's Warehouse, worked at different warehouses. And, I, you know, I just always had the attitude of running things myself. Mm -hmm. 